okay i'm going to talk about a simple concept called hall effect hall effect is nothing but when you place a current carrying conductor fixed in a magnetic field assuming that you can I mean the conductor is fixed or it cannot move um, then inside that conductor the electrons are going to move one side of the conductor so for example here is a north pole and south pole so there is always magnetic field between north pole and south pole right going in this direction that's a b now i place a current carrying conductor here okay if i place a conductor here um i'm assuming it's a round conductor um a conductor is nothing but it has lots of thousands of millions of free electrons okay um we know that these free electrons are randomly moving um so the final displacement is going to be zero if there is no voltage applied to this conductor okay so these electrons are keep moving around in the same same place okay finally the displacement is going to be zero so there is these electrons are not going anywhere but there are thousands of millions of free electrons here now if i connect this conductor to something else um say a battery okay so what happens here so what happens here so here is my um hold on. Here is my negative positive what happens here there is some current passing through this because there is r and v okay so now there is an electric field in this so electrons these electrons are going to move in one direction okay now you have a charge which is moving in one direction with the velocity and a magnetic field what happens it will experience a force what is that force f equal to if you remember b q v um, that is the force on that charge so q is a charge v is velocity and b is magnetic field okay now in reality if if this conductor is not fixed what happens to this conductor it will experience a force we know that that force equal to v i l um sine theta here also there is sine theta here theta is angle between um velocity and b theta is angle between velocity and b here theta is angle between b and i okay but this conductor is fixed okay we fixed it on both ends so it cannot move um in that condition what's going to happen that's what we're looking at okay so we don't need to worry about this force because this conductor is fixed conductor cannot uh, it's unable to move okay now okay so this this electron has a charge that charge is q and how fast these electrons are moving these electrons will move with a velocity called drift velocity that velocity is very small 10 to the power of minus 4 meter per second that's the velocity of that electron now electron is moving one direction and it has a charge so if you remember i mean by using this formula so if you place a charge moving with the velocity v in a magnetic field it will experience a force now what happens here all these electrons are going to experience a force that force direction is we can find out by using right hand rule so your thumb indicates the force direction middle finger indicates the magnetic field direction and forefinger indicates the velocity so find the find the force so if you find the force by using the right hand rule um, these electrons or if you make it as a 3d three-dimensional diagram so the electrons are forced towards into the into the screen so on the top side of this conductor there will be positive charges and all the electrons are on the bottom side of the um, conductor 
okay so now what happened here you i mean now i'm going to look into this conductor inside so that's the conductor from the side view okay so if you look at the side view so what happened here all the electrons are towards down now you have all the positive charges the protons or nucleus is at the top so you have all the positive charges in the top electrons are at the, at the bottom as long as you have positive charge and negative charge separated what happens there will be there will be a potential difference created so the, this potential is called vh which is nothing but hall effect voltage that voltage is very small okay probably in micro micro volt so this voltage is in micro volt how do you find that value so let me find that so we know that f equal to b times q times vd vd is the drift velocity vd is called drift velocity that is the velocity electron is moving inside the inside of the conductor drift velocity and q is the charge let me take that as an electron which is charge of an electron So I'm trying to find the force on one single electron and later on we can find out what is the total force. Now if I take force on the single electron F equal to V times charge of the electron times Vd. Okay. Now I can write this force in terms of E and a charge the relation between E and the charge is nothing but can write this as E times E where E is called electric field. We know that as long as we separate two charges automatically electric, electric field is going to be created. So now these two are going to get cancelled out. So B times VD equal to equal to e okay b times uh, vd equal to equal to e now we know that e is nothing but voltage over distance okay so now what is the voltage and what is the distance I can say the voltage here is so if, if I look at round conductor okay if I look at round conductor assume that this is a diameter D okay now what happened the voltage is so in the previous diagram you saw that all the electrons are moved down so all the negative charges are here and positive charges are there okay so there is a potential difference between these two so voltage I will say Hall effect voltage divided by distance D equal to B times um, this is VD VD is drift velocity VH is Hall voltage this Hall voltage is very small um, like uh, in millivolts or microvolt so this Hall voltage VH equal to D times B times VD drift velocity. Now uh, the drift velocity there is another formula, formula for drift velocity which is J times yes, or J over NE. J is called current density. divided by n is nothing but number of um, electrons per unit volume okay 
and E is number of electrons or charge basically. Um, N is the number of electrons per meter cube. So that this is what N. E is basically um, E is basically charge. Okay. So current density, I can write this as I over A over N E. That's a drift velocity where A is area of the conductor. Now, if I substitute this here, B times um, I over A N E, where E is charge equal to V H over D. So from here, V H which is all effect voltage equal to B I D over A N E. Okay, where A is area, E is charge of the electron, N is number of electrons per volume, I is the current, B is the magnetic field, D is the diameter. If I take a round conductor, if I take a square conductor, then, um, then some of the quantities are going to cancel out each other. Um, you will end up with uh, IB over thickness times N times E. Okay, um, thank you.